Hello everybody, this is Andrew Roboto, 2021 here, and welcome to Five Nights at Nintendo Land 2, where this is the long-awaited, unofficial sequel to Five Nights at Nintendo Land, which was made by Frosties, and it was released in 2015. Now... And this game is made by NL Pikachu, and this game was just released recently, as a matter of fact. And so I'm not too late to the party, so that's good. Um, but anyways, um, so on to the backstory of this game. This game, there was originally going to be a sequel to um, Final Fantasy Nintendo Land that was made by Frosties, but. But then, but then it was canceled um, due to just um, losing motivation, due to lack of motivation, and plus he had trouble with certain mechanics in the game that he couldn't get to work. So this game pretty much was pretty much forgotten at this point. I would say forgotten because after it was canceled, like. Nobody, this was forgotten because, like, nobody thought that another user named NL Pikachu, and that user happened to be NL Pikachu, would remake the unofficial game. Would pretty much remake the game. So that's just the backstory on this game. But, anyways, um, I'm trying to think if there's more to the backstory. Um, there's more to the backstory for the other part of the backstory. Um, Bottom line, this game basically has the exact same mechanics that was a rip that was made in the original by Frosty. It's like pretty much everything you see, like the title screen and whatnot, and mechanics, characters, like you name it. Um, so yeah, and I played Finance and Nintendo Land, um, the original game, back in 2020. Because I was, I was originally going to do it in 2015 when it came out, but never got around to doing it. And plus, it was taken down from Games Old, but then in 2020, a couple users re-uploaded it, and I was able to play it. Um, and then, about a month or two ago, I last year, I, I played the Finance Nintendo Land Anniversary Edition which I believe is also made by NL Pikachu. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so, yeah. But anyways, without further ado, we will start a new game, and let's see what has to happen for us. Okay. Okay, so we have a cutscene with notes in it. Alright. I gotta adjust the brightness. Bear with me. Hey, bro. I'm going to that old-ass house in a bit. Have you found anything cool in there? Not really, unless you want to count the endless amount of amounts of dirt, broken tables, and stains of dog piss. LOL. <laughs> mm. I did find something cool, though. A really damn old Wii U security pad. You know the modified Wii... Uh, what does that say? I couldn't read it for a second. Okay. You know the modified Wii. The you know the modified Wii is Nintendo made out of scraps of the original ones. I bet that shit doesn't even work. LMAO. Laugh my ass out. For those who don't know what it stands for, it stands for laugh my ass out. And then LMFAO stands for laugh my fucking ass out. Which is the name of the band that wrote Party Rocker. Okay. Oh, we have more notes. We can just click click on this, scroll down. Okay. Alright, next slide. Cause this, and yes, this actually feels like a PowerPoint, so that's why I'm saying next slide. Any, actually, it does. Barely, but it does. WTF how? What the fuck how? Can you even use it? Yes, I can. The cameras around the building are still functional. With this one, I also found out that there is an underground section of this place. Or to this place, sorry. I think it's blocked or hidden somewhere, though. I couldn't find an entrance to it. 
damn. Okay, so this is basically a cutscene with, with dialogue. Just written dialogue. That's what it is. Next slide. Anyway, I did also find... Find something else that was interesting. A Pikachu, a Pikachu costume. I think it was somewhere in a room with stairs. Huh. I know, right? The Pikachu costume was in a different location. Unless they actually made another one, but I've never read of that happening. I also think I saw a Samus costume in the kitchen. By the way, just to be safe, you should stay outside the house. Stay outside the house? Oh god, please don't tell me it's raining in this game, just like in the first game. Because if it's raining just like in the first game, then well... You're gonna get pneumonia. You're gonna get pneumonia from standing out there, especially if it's Sub-Zero. There's no light or anything there. Plus, with this pad, I found you could record video of it without actually being there. Yeah, I wasn't going to enter it anyway. LOL. Laugh out loud. Oh yeah, also I should explain how this pad works. You can turn off a camera and you can make a flash in the room. These two options break after using them once though, and you have to wait to, to get them fixed. That flash is pretty damn strong too. Next slide. It legit blinded me for a bit. So maybe you can use it to scare off an actual... Scare off... Not actual. Scare off an animal or someone. I don't know. As for turning off cams, well... They do make a lot of noise when they're on. It would make it pretty clear someone's around. So you should turn one off every so often so less noise comes through. Gotcha. In that building... There are three entrances, by the way. Next slide. You should keep them in check. I don't know why, but I think you should. Also, by the way, that Samus suit I mentioned, well, I could have swore I saw, I saw it standing up outside while I was leaving. But when I looked at it to try to see what it was, what it was doing, it was gone all of a sudden. That was really weird and really creepy. Okay, so I assume we're going to be dealing with Samus for night one. Okay. Or Zero Suit Samus, as she's also known as, when she's out of the, when she's not in the Samus suit. I think I heard some noises around the place. They sounded like laughing or crying, but maybe I'm just imagining things. I don't know. Also, that cellar part of the building I mentioned, it has three gates that are close to the entrances to those halls. You can close one of them at a time, but it will stay closed only for a bit. Then they'll reopen. Alright, next slide. And then you'll have to wait for a while to be able to close one again. Anyway, are you already going there? No, but I'm preparing to. Okay, pass by my house so I can give you the Wii U game back. I'll see you in a bit. Is there any more slides? Okay, nope. Alright, so we can start night one. Alright, so without further ado, let's take on night one and let's see what it has to offer for us. Okay. Oh good, it's actually not raining. It's actually windy. Okay, so we're standing outside in a of a house in a forest. And we have to Let's see. We'll look through the cameras. We can turn off and flash a light, okay? So who are we dealing with? Let's check. 
I assume whoever's coming, we have to flash a light. Okay, so we can turn off the camera, so that's good. And then what is this? Oh, those are the gates. Okay. Okay, that's the light. So we have a light flash on this camera. And then we can turn off the cameras. And then we can close the gates on the other camera. Let me raise the brightness a bit because I got to see the cameras. Okay, so that closes it. Okay. Okay, so where's Samus? So I assume whoever's close by, we have to either turn off a camera or flash a light or seal the... Oh! Okay, Samus jump scared me. Okay, so I'm going to read through this again. And we're going to find out how to deal with Samus. So we're dealing with Samus for night one. Okay, so you can turn off a camera and make a flash in the room. Okay, so for Samus, I assume we, if we see her on one of the cameras with the gates, we have to walk them. And then if we see her on one of these cameras, we have to slow her down by either flashing the light or turning off the cameras. Okay, is that Samus? Let me check. Okay, I flashed the light. So does that get rid of Samus? Let me see. I'm tracking her. I think that person standing there is Samus. I think that's Samus. It's got to be Samus. It looks like a person. Damn, those lights are so bright they blinded me. <laughs> oh, I think that's Samus. She's... I believe that's Samus. Because it... Oh, yeah. It's got to be Samus. It looks like Samus. I can see the suit, so... I assume she's going to be coming to one of the gates first. Because I think that's Samus. It's got to be her. It looks like her. 
She's in a suit, so we're going to keep track of her. Okay, what was I staring at? Okay, can, let me know in the comments where Samus is and how I deal with her and what she looks like because the cameras are so fizzy, like, I can't tell where she is. And who just killed... And let me know in the comments who killed me, who also killed me in this video because... My God, this is confusing. Okay, so I'm going to end my video here because this is... I do apologize for having to end it early, but... This is very confusing. Please let me know in the comments um, how to deal with Samus and how to deal with the other character that I was jump scared by, which I think was Pikachu, maybe? I believe it was Pikachu, because I believe for night one we're dealing with Samus and Pikachu because because the guy in the, the note, because the guy who you're talking to in the cutscene, which I think is a friend of yours or whoever, um, says he saw both a Pikachu and a Samus suit. So, let me know how to deal with Samus and Pikachu for night one in the comments below. And also, as I beat each night, please let me know who else I'm going to be dealing with and how their mechanics work. I would greatly appreciate that because, um... This is just overall confusing. So again, I apologize for end, having to end the video early. This is just very confusing. So yeah, but anyways, I will end my video here. Um, we'll continue on with night one um, in the next video. Which I'm not going to say part two or name it part two. Because didn't really make any progress in this so it wouldn't make sense to but um only time i'm gonna name my videos parts one through four for example is if i'm stuck on a night and having trouble beating them this one though i'm just not gonna name it that I'm just not going to name it part two or anything. Or no, I'd actually take that back. We'll, we'll call it, um, I don't know, let me think. I'll have to think about if I want to not name it part one or two because this is overall confusing. So I'm not, I'm not going to name it. I'm not going to name, I just decided I'm not going to name it part one and then do part two for night one. Because in case if I beat night one and part two and then take on night two as well, it wouldn't make sense. So yeah. So anyways, I will end my video here. We'll continue on with night one in the next video. Hopefully for real this time. Once I get the strategies down for this one, but... Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button. Also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. Go follow me on TikTok and be sure to follow me to follow me as and hit the bell on there as well and receive all notifications of videos and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.